Okay, so this is going to be a typewriter tutorial for a Smith Corona tabulator. And so we don't see these actually very often. Honestly, this is the first tabulator we've ever come across. Um, but obviously it looks exactly like the Sterling or the Standard or the Silent or Super Silent, those series of Smith Coronas from the 1950s. And this one is a 1954. And um, honestly, can't really tell a whole lot of difference other than maybe the logo is here instead of here. Um, the key colors are a little bit different, but it's basically the same typewriter. But let's go ahead and we're gonna do a tutorial and I'll show you how to use this. So we're gonna start with the back. And back here is your tabs. And you can see they're like little pull-out keys and you have a metal bar with um, different grooves in them and that is where you're going to slide your key in so that you can create the tab or the columns. Some typewriters refer to them as columns. Um, that's how you set those and so this particular one has one, two, three, four, five different stops on it. Okay. Let's put this back down and I'm gonna show you the margin. So if you flip this back plate over, you're gonna see your margin selectors and you just press and drag to select your margins. Now remember that your carriage is only, this is your carriage right here, is only gonna move as far as you have the margin set. So if you bring your margins in real narrow, then your carriage is gonna be super narrow. You know, it's only gonna move and if you bring them way out, far out, then it'll move further. So your margins are gonna be set based on the size of your paper or the, um, the width in which you want to do your typing. Okay, so, and I like narrow margins for the demos, and so I'm gonna bring those in. And then also, you'll notice along this back plate behind it, here is your paper holder. So you fold that plate out and then that's where it holds your paper up. Very handy little device there. So we'll fold that back down. On the, here's your carriage. This is your roller. It's also called a platen. And the paper is gonna go right against that back plate behind the platen and it'll pull it through. On the, on either side behind the handles for the roller is a silver tab that's the furthest back and it doesn't matter which side, but if you pull it forward, it moves the carriage. And you'll hear that bell. So the bell lets you know, hey, you're at the end of your margin, which tells you you need to hit your return handle, which advances to the next line and takes you to the front of the line. And so this lever right up here where my finger is, that tells it I'm gonna advance either your line selector, one or two lines. Okay, so that's what that is for. Now when you get all the way to the end as you're typing and that bell goes off. Once you hit the margin, the typewriter is gonna stop and you won't be able to move forward and you won't be able to type. So then you hit MR, this little tab right here that I'm pointing to, it says MR, and you press that and that releases the margin. So in case you're in the middle of a thought or a word and you wanna keep going and then um, it'll reset once you go to the next line. Right here is your color selector. It's on red right now, but you can push it all the way up. It's a blue dot, but really that's for the black ribbon. So this does support a two color ribbon. Now the white dot means stencil. It is not anything you're going to use. And if the selector is on that white dot, your typewriter isn't gonna type. So um, if you're having issues when you're typing, check two things. Check to see if your color selector somehow ended up on the white and if you need to reverse the direction of your ribbon, which I will show you your ribbon right now. And I'm gonna pull open that top. Here you'll see we have a universal ribbon inside of this. It takes a standard universal ribbon. And um, when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink and the ribbon, you just need to reverse the direction of your ribbon. And the ribbon reversal selector is right here on the left side. And you just 
go back and forth, or it's actually, there you go. You just press it and that'll switch it back and forth. So some ribbons do have a little grommet on the very end and it'll auto reverse the tight of the ribbon for you. Um, and some of them don't. So just, uh, you may have to, um, if you don't know if your ribbon has that grommet or not, just you'll find out, you'll get to the end of the spool, the, the typewriter will um, probably stop typing on you or the font's gonna get really faint or you're gonna notice that that ribbon's pulling really tight. Either way, it's gonna feel completely different. And so you check those two things, check your ribbon reversal and check um, your color selector. Um, while we're in here, these are your type bars. This is your um, touch selector, and it just determines how hard your type bars strike the paper. And so you just adjust it based on what you um, what works best for you based on how hard you hit the keys and just the personality of that typewriter. So you can work with it and to get to the setting that works best with you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close this couple other things that we want to talk about up here. This is a paper release. So that releases the tension of your paper. So when you load your paper, you can bring these in if you want. Um, you'll notice that my paper is just slightly crooked. So I'm going to pull forward on that paper release and I'm going to adjust it because now the tension isn't on it and it's kind of free. You know, I can just do this to the paper and then um, I'll re-engage. And so that is what that is for. Or if you're done and you're at the end and you wanna pull that paper out, pull that paper release forward and then pull your paper out. Okay, down here we already talked about your ribbon reversal. This is your color selector, your tab. And I showed you how to set your tabs, but then here's your actual tab key. And then this is your backspace so that when you make a mistake, you can backspace, but remember backspace does not erase. You just backspace, type over, or you X through or line through your mistakes, and then you just keep going. Okay, well that is how you use the Smith Corona. And oh, let me, I've got a couple of things. Let me show you where to find your um, serial number. So your serial number, is right here stamped on the right side on the metal frame. And sometimes you need a flashlight to see it very well. And then you can just look up that number on typewriterdatabase.com. And then also when you need to change out your ribbon, you just pull the ribbon out. It's not locked in there. And then, um, but when you do make sure you check how these are threaded through the guide wires when you reinstall them. And if you need uh, to reference a photo, there is a link in the description below to the product listing of a Smith Corona tabulator. And in that, even if the typewriter is sold, you can uh, look up that photo and save it as a reference um, for next time. And I'll even lift it up here so you can kind of, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm so close to it. But um, you can use that photo as a reference so you know how to thread your ribbon through. Okay, hope this was helpful and you all have a blessed day.